Greetings, true friends, and welcome back to the voiceover of the gods. And as you can see of the title, this was actually a failed session. And by failed, I mean that this was a small bench that I didn't manage. Um, I was gonna do fours, but um, I failed on some of the sets and only did trees. So uh, here I will show you what I, you know, and talk a bit about what I can do if I, you know, fail a session. Because when you do, when you have a set schedule like this, when you have a set routine, you have given lifts that you have to perform with, sometimes, you know, life would just have it. Perhaps you've angered the gods or um, something of the sort, which makes you, uh, you know, fail in your endeavors. This is not uh, the end of the world, that's just how it is sometimes. This was uh, recorded yesterday, and yesterday was a Sunday, and Sunday is usually a bit... Um, there's something with Sundays that um, makes them a bit more slow in all kinds of regards. So <laughs> I blame that. Um, but uh, either way, it can be any, any fucking day, true friends, doesn't matter. So when you fail, I did not go, I could probably have grinded out a fourth repetition, but I didn't. I didn't want to jeopardize, you know, going to failure. So I did a lot of trees instead and decided that, okay, cool, I, I failed this. This is not the end of the world. I will have my revenge in, uh, in two days instead. And uh, until then, I will have, um, you know, eaten plenty of food to get um, a lot of energy in. So that's basically how I deal with that. And uh, there's Natty Mike, by the way, and there's my triceps of glory. You see, I'm not looking the biggest right now. Uh, just didn't have that much energy. But, you know, got in a session either way. There's, you know, some, some good old benching. You see the, the pause there. It isn't the longest either. I wasn't feeling very strong at all. So there's some, some benching. It was supposed to be eight sets of fours. So here we have another... Well, it's not, not really failed because by this time I had already realized that, you know, I, I can't do what the schedule tells me to do. So there I'm just doing a single and then I say like, okay, fuck everything. There is... Misha, juicy Polish demolisher. He can only flex his uh, left arm, and there's Nette Mike. Because Misha has he tore his biceps. I, I think I told you that in the um, in some other uh, episode on our powerlifting meet. He tore his biceps. But he's in training anyway. So easy. I'm just, you know, disregarding the heavy weight, just playing around as a bodybuilder for the crack, like, um, using easy weight. Get some juicy pump, uh, get in the you know movement. Uh, so just you know some some additional work, and my point really with this video is that you get sessions where you can't be that strength oriented, and then you switch over to typical bodybuilding things. Look at that hammer of Thor, though, highly sickening. Because if you think more like a bodybuilder, you don't need to be on top. That's the truth of it. Bodybuilding is easy. Strength, strength lifting is is hard. Because you know if you have a fucking small bench or Russian squat routine, everything need to be fucking. Uh, there I go with some close grip bench as well. Everything needs to be on point. You need to have a good sleep, good caloric intake, everything like that, the load up has to be perfect. Now, if you are going more of a bodybuilding style of training, that shit doesn't really matter because you can just go into the gym and, you know, get the pump and contact really no matter what weight. And there I disregard the clothes because I was feeling uh, rather juicy. Uh, and you see here, I was originally supposed to do three trees on 90, but here I'm just ripping away at 60 kilo instead. 
So, you know, quite quite much easier. Um, and the hat might not be the most folkish thing I have, but the hair, the hair of glory is unruly sometimes. So then I have to resort to that. So see, I'm just taking it easy, repping away on some lighter weights, just getting the, um, you know, bar path correctly in there, uh, get some blood out of the muscle. It's still better than to do nothing. But then I know that, um, yeah, tomorrow, so like in, in two days from this day, uh, I still have to perform my original session. So tomorrow is uh, 90 kilo, three times three. And the original small of session. That is what is up here in all actuality. So it's some a bit stricter push press even. And then I just thought uh, for the lols like do some some chins. And you can't really see it now, but that that isn't really a chins. That's a um, cable cross machine. So the the grip isn't the best there to be honest. But uh, yeah, just some extra training like. And then I'm looking quite pale, doing some lighter traps work. This is more for the grip, I would say, actually, because the traps, it's not so hard for them. And you see, I don't use any straps or anything, so it's much for the grip. Uh, and also, obviously, I want to show off my gains. Highly sickening. And here is also a an exercise for the rear delts you can do. As you know, push it up there to get some stability in your shoulders. And obviously you should keep the, the shoulders nice and uh, you know pumped up when you oh look at that, sick. When you do uh, a lot of benching. So do not neglect the shoulders. And there my lat spread isn't looking that impressive considering I am quite, uh, obviously not fat, but uh, I still have some uh, some fat around the waist that makes my V less accentuated. And there are also of the outer delts, so I tried to keep uh, quite a bit of stress on the delts. So that was basically my failed session and what I did instead. So thank you so much for watching feel free to drop a like or a comment if you haven't subscribed already please do so and who am i i'm the juicy one xoxo boom